Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is gonna be a new series in ServiceNow, Learn ServiceNow Development and Admin from Zero till Advanced in English. So we are back with the English version of the videos where we will be covering all the topics related to your CSA exams, related to your development, related to your integrations, related to your scripting. All the details is going to be covered in the same time frame, same concept the context will be in English. So let me go back to the instance. So you can see the instance is in front of your screen where we are going to see what are these instance currently look like for you. So in your case, you will notice over here, ServiceNow logo will be there and your instance name to be written. First of all, when you come to this ServiceNow instance, it will look like this. When you are in Tokyo, San Diego and UTA release, or Utah release, you will see the UI will be different. That UI is called Next Experience UI. Or you can say that a property which is enabling that Next Experience UI is called Polarish. So we'll move back to that UI. How we can move back to that UI? Just we need to go to the property and we'll change the property. Like we buy a new phone, we change the setting on the new phone and we just do some changes in the wallpaper, themes and we get our mobile changes done. Similarly over here what we have to do is we need to go to the properties to get back our previous instance. The way which you are seeing the instance in the new version is completely different UI. So let me take you to that UI before we start sys properties dot list and now this part what is dot list what I did this all we will be covering in the upcoming session but first of all we'll do one property change or the setting changes. When you have our brand new instance, you can always go to the property and you need to type here Polarish. Once you type Polarish, you will get second option which is value is false. Now this value will be true always. When you have the new instance, you will have this value true always. Let me make this true. I'll come back later and I'll make it false. So once you make it true, you will notice. Let me log out. And once I log out and once I log in back, so if you know what is your admin credentials, you can log in back. If you don't know your admin credentials, like I forget my admin credentials, so I can log in back. So in this case, we will go to the developer.servicenow.com page. And from there, you will notice we have our LR. And now this is learning service now with Trophy and we have manage instance test password. So from here, we will have all the password available. So admin. Over here, you can go back, admin, and the password is this one. You can change this password. I'll show you how to change the password. Now, once you log in, you will see a brand new user interface. And remember, this interface, which are I am showing you right now, this interface is available since May, between May and March, March 2022, when San Diego came into the market. San Diego is the version name of ServiceNow. So every year, ServiceNow will introduce two releases per quarter. Maybe it can be six months, six months. It depends on ServiceNow when they are going to bring it. But it will be mostly two releases always. First release will be your in the month of March till May. And the second release will be October till December. So currently, the release is Shuta. So you can see the UI is getting loaded. Now you can see the logo of service now over here and all the details will be coming to your screen like this, all favorite and history. Now this UI is called Next Experience UI. So I will write it down. So that is called Next Experience User Interface and which property allow us to do that? The name of the property is called Polarization. And this is the most asked interview question and the potential interview question is coming up from here. Which property enable you to go back to the Polarish experience? So that is your next experience UI. So this UI was introduced in the May 2022 in the San Diego release. And ServiceNow will always release two versions in a year that start with the English alphabet with the city name. So San Diego is a city. The next is Tokyo. And the third is Utah or you can say Utah, which is coming up, which is there. So if you see my instances Utah so if I see the status 
dot do you will see my instance is Tokyo and I can upgrade this to Uta going forward. So currently it is in Tokyo version and then you can upgrade it, it by going to this. You have this option called upgrade your instance and you can click on this and up. So it will take some time to upgrade. So leave this as it is. So now this is called Tokyo and I'll move back to Tokyo Uta in the upcoming future. Now what I will do, I will change this setting to false. Okay. Why? Because 99% of the client is using the previous UI. Means all the clients, not even all the clients. My my wrong. It's around 90 to 95% of clients are using the previous UI. Because this UI was since 2013-14. Till 2022, obviously nobody will directly jump to the new UI. So it's going slow. But you will notice on favorite history is written over here. You will notice on that particular UI, which I will be showing you right now, is written on the left part that is called the left navigator. So let me go back. Let me just um, log out and I will just click on start building directly from here. So I will be on service now page back. Yeah, see, we have left navigator. We have system properties, system administrator, my name written over here because we are the supreme admin of our system. So our name is written over here and we can go to our profile and we can do the changes. So this part is the concept. When the new re UI release came into the market, you have to remember this. The new experience UI is the latest UI version of ServiceNow. So when you open your ServiceNow, you will see on the top your ServiceNow logo, then your ServiceNow instance name and whatever you see over here, these are called the applications, which is already pre-installed like your phone. Few applications are pre-installed in your ServiceNow. Similarly, these applications are pre-installed in our ServiceNow. So let me explain you with the help of snipping tool. So you will notice this part is called logo. This part is called instance name. And whatever you see from this part to this part is called your applications. Now what is applications? Tables in ServiceNow. Tables means we have column and we have row. So you will notice whatever you see over here on the left part, this is called left part, left and this is called right part. Left part, this is called filter navigator where you can filter out all the applications. So if you type dashboard, dashboard will be coming up. If you type employee center, employee center will be coming up over here. So this is called all, this is called favorite and this was history, which just now you will seeing on the next experience UI, all favorite history was on the top, but now we have all. We have favorite and we have history. If you type something, let's say business application, you can see it is searching that application over here. So this is the first search of service now, which is called filter navigator search, or you can say that application navigator search where all your contents are being searched. So this part is called application navigator. This part is called header, or you can say that banner where you have the banner icon, where you have the uh, banner name or instance name over here and coming to the right part you have your profile summary where you can click on this profile and you can change your profile name you can change the passwords if I click here I will be able to change the password if I click on account how many accounts are linked I can check that so let me change this name going forward I'll change the name so when I create a user I will show you how to change all this name it's simple very straightforward just change it and update it second part is impersonate user means if you are an admin, if an admin access is given to you, obviously we are the supreme admin in service now. We can go inside any user profile. So in this service now, I have let's say hundreds of users. I can go inside any user profile by clicking on this impersonate option when it will be needed. Let's say you have you are a developer and you have developed something, but you wanted to test that development activity as per the client point of view. So you will impersonate that client and you can test it. So those are called impersonating users. If I click on impersonate, you will see a box is coming up. In my system, I have lot many users, 600 plus. For example, if I go to this person, I am just replicating the, you can see I am just going inside this profile, Adela. See, and Adela can access all these modules. Simple. For Adela also, we have the service now development instance. Now we can come back. And impersonate now we are coming back to our instance. 
So remember only admin has that privilege to do that. You know, someone is not having the admin role or impersonator role. Role part we are going to discuss very soon when we start with the user and role. Now, the second search of service now is your global search. You can search anything. For example, whatever I am, I, you can search from here. Let's say test. If you have test on my service now instance, it will search everything. So basically this search will search entire service now platform. So it is on the platform level. So we have 57 result with test. So we have 48 change tickets. You can see two task tickets. Seven incidents starting with a word called test. So that's called a global search. Now we have the second option called connect chat. If you click on this connect chat, you can chat with your co-members. Like you can see, I chat with able tutor. Similarly, if you click on plus sign, add a user. Let's say I, I will add Adela. Okay. Let me chat with her. So hi. Okay. Now once she log in, she will be able to receive my message. So let's go to her profile, impersonate user, Adela, and you will notice one plus to be there. See one notification bar. Click here and system admin has sent one message. So she can reply back. Hello. Done. Go back to your section system admin and you will notice one over here also. See hello. Now she replied me hello. So you can connect with your co-members, co-team members with the help of this connect chat. This third option is called your user guide. Whatever the documentation service is providing, you will be getting all this documentation on the help center. This is of our no use most of the time. We never use this. So leave this as it is. We'll discuss about it when we create our knowledge article. So leave this blank. Click on the setting. And this is the place where we will do some general setting. For example, first of all, you need to change the time zone. Remember, this time zone should be your client saying time zone. Because you are working with some client customer, so you have to follow that time zone only. So you can change that time zone going further. And uh, yeah, you can say you can choose London. Let me choose GMT only. Now you can see we have this option called compact user interface. If you click here, you can see these are compacted. Again, you notice this. See, similarly, you can compact it. You can beautify it. Compact date and time list. So when date and time is visible to you, that will be even compacted. So I will suggest don't compact. Let it be as it is. Which service now has given us. And the second part is the theme part, which we will discuss in the branding section of ServiceNow. So first you come to the general and click on this option called time zone and select your time zone. So this is called your ServiceNow user interface overview. That's all for today. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and do share it with your friends, colleagues who are seeking career in ServiceNow and those who belongs, who doesn't understand in a English language, they can go and watch the video on my Hindi. So I have also given the same content over there in the English. So we have two versions now. We have service now in Hindi, service now in English, learn service now with Ravi in Hindi and English both. So it will cover all the entire community of service now. Even those who are sitting abroad also can check this content and get the insight done on service now. So thanks for watching this video. We'll connect soon in the next video. Thank you so much.